Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am back with a another video and in this video I will be showing you guys how I created these press-ons. I heard you guys and listened when you guys said you wanted more press-on videos so here we are. I'm going to show you guys how I created these press-ons and how I packaged this order. So let's get into it. As you saw there we'll be using Nail House's um, glitter acrylic. It's called H. I see it's a super pretty pink glitter with like purple iridescent um, glitters in it super cute and I'm also for the most part as usual using their number 14 or size 14 Kalinsky brush it's so cute it has just acrylic little handle little clear a handle super cute highly recommend they come in sizes 10 12 and 14 and if any of you guys shop their site be sure to use my code Porsche at checkout to save money on your order. Alright, so as you can see, I already have the tips already glued on. If you guys want to see an in-depth video on press-ons, starting from gluing the tips on and everything, check out one of the first videos um, about press-ons on this page here. I'll actually insert the video. That's an in-depth one you guys can check out. It is this one right here. It literally says acrylic press on 101. As this one here is a full and detailed one, but that one starts with gluing the tips on if you guys want to check that out. So I know you might be wondering or may have peeped out that I have a cotton pad inside of my monomer dish. Um, I did that because someone was telling me that that works well with getting the glitter off of the brush. And that if you used it for um, another, you know, nail as well, other than glitter, that the glitter won't transfer. So I just wanted to try it out. That's all it is. So I'm just applying the acrylic as normal as I would do a regular nail. And I am going to cap these as well, so I will not be building them up that thick. So this is the first one done, and I just did the same thing to the remaining now. I'm just curious to know, um, are any of you guys familiar with Nail House? Like, have any of you guys ever tried Nail House products? And if so, um, how do you like them? Let me know in the comments below. They had a huge Black Friday sale um, with up to like, I think 40 to 50% off um, their products. I haven't been posting, so I don't know how many of you guys missed out on that. Um, and on top of their discounts, you guys could have used my code, which is Porsche for additional money off your order, which was super dope. They also came back out with their Christmas glitters like they had last year. They are so cute. Um, I definitely participated in the Black Friday sale, as well as purchasing the Christmas glitters. It is about that time of the year and their glitters or Christmas glitters, glitters period, are the best and the Christmas glitters are so cute. If you guys follow my Instagram, you see that I did a live swatching them all, but I could also show you guys real quick on here. They are super cute. These are just a few that I purchased and were gifted. They have a few more that are part of the Christmas collection. Um, by the time you guys are seeing this video, they are still for sale. And actually, it is their last sale, unfortunately, because I think they had they had a few already. They restocked like three or four times. 
but they go super fast because as i said they are popular um and yes they are on sale right now for eight dollars for one ounce um and you guys if you are interested and you do shop you guys can use my code Portia as I stated before for additional money off some of them are already sold out because as I said they do go fast um my favorite ones are Santa Baby and um Santa's Helper those are actually one of the most popular ones but yeah it's just wanted to let you guys know that this is the last restock on the Christmas glitters so if you guys are interested to check them out
right guys so next i'll be encapsulating the nails with me secrets clear acrylic Alright guys, so I'm done encapsulating and just for the ones who may have forgot, this is Nail House in the acrylic HBIC. And now we're going to move on to shaping. Alright, so just like I would do with a regular set, I file underneath the nail first and then I do the surface and then I file the side. I had to take off my gloves and re-sanitize my hands because I can't grip um, the nail how I want to with them on. So yeah, that's what I did there. And for those of you who may be wondering, as usual, um, I am using the Pana 8080 Grit Nail File. You guys can find it in my Amazon storefront, and the link to my Amazon storefront is always in the description below. So 
so after I file the sides and all of that, I took my drill and I shaped the tip of the nail. So then after that, I put the nail back on the stand and I repeat to the remaining nails. Okay, so I just wanted to mention that some of them I don't actually file because they're already smooth so I just kind of buff the surface and also I wanted to wait until you guys can really see up close how I turn the nail upside down to where the cuticle area is facing me and I take the file and I kind of file in a downward motion towards the cuticle to where that it can smooth out and it can be like um, a smooth like more flatter flush um, finish towards the cuticle if that makes sense because sometimes when you build the acrylic up on a press on near the cuticle the acrylic will build up and kind of create a small ledge it isn't that noticeable but it is noticeable once the nails are put on you can kind of see it but as you can see I um how do you I don't really know how to explain it I kind of tapered it out to where when my client applies it um when they apply the press ons it is flush and smooth to their natural nail if you know what I mean. And as you guys can see, I always make sure that all of my press-ons are the same exact length. And I also look at them from every single angle to make sure that they're all smooth and everything. Be sure to always look at your nails from every angle so that there's no lumps and bumps or anything that you can't see from the top um, view.
all right guys so this is how they're looking and next we're gonna move on to my favorite part which is the bling <laughs> so right now i'm just gonna tell you guys because i know you may wonder if you guys have not seen my video on this box and these stones check it out i have a video on my page where i did um a rhinestone unboxing i tell you where i got these from and i organized them so go check that out it's on my page so um as usual i'll be going in with the zule bling adhesive it's my favorite bling adhesive and by the way these were kind of a freestyle my client who ordered these she said or well, my customer whatever um she who ordered these she said that she wanted pink glitter and fur pom-poms and rhinestones so <clears throat> i kind of just did my own thing um and I kind of ponder a bit because um, I kind of suck at freestyling and especially um, stone placement. But I've gotten much better at it. So let me know how you guys like these nails. Did I do a good job or no? <laughs> Alright. So just applying the blank adhesive. Um, as you guys know or maybe you don't know. But maybe people who have been following me for a while and watching my videos. You guys know I used to use the brush on Zule Blink Adhesive and I've recently switched over to the tube where it squeezes out as you guys saw because I just find that easier. It's just much easier and I highly recommend the um, uh, adhesive period if you guys haven't tried it but I for sure recommend the squeeze tube because it's much easier. guys see how I'm stuck yeah <laughs> it's kind of hard to choose like stone placement for me and there be so many I don't really know but I'll get it together one day <laughs> I didn't thought so long the glue didn't dry up <laughs> I'm curious to know if I'm the only one who's like that like I kind of suck at coming up with something from the top of my head I think I told you guys this before especially um stone placement like I really suck at it um like I'm good at, you know, doing something that I see, like, down to the T, but I just really can't come up with stuff sometimes, most of the time. Anyway, so as you guys just saw there, I sprayed the Mia Secret Activator Spray. Um, I just recently um, started doing that because... Um, I wasn't hip to it before, but when you apply your glue and when you apply your stones and you use your um, adhesive glue, whatever you use, um, the Me Secret Activator Spray allows it to like instantly freeze and dry. Um, before, I used to have a problem with it turning white after trying to wipe it with alcohol. I think I also told you guys before that as well that I used to have an issue with. Um, it turning white if if it ever turns white it's literally because your glue isn't dry so and it's like mixing with other, other chemicals and the molecules and molecules <laughs> and the air is um making it turn white so yeah so the activator spray literally dries it like instantly on contact so you won't have that issue if you have not tried it i highly recommend it so right now I'm just applying the pump pump. I just apply the bottom of the magnet using the Zule Bling adhesive again, of course. I use it for everything. <laughs> so yeah, I just apply the magnet like that. I also want to add too, because I like giving y'all little tips and tricks and stuff, is that notice how I flip the nail upside down to make sure that the stone is centered in the middle. It's easy to apply Crystal to Cricut. I have done it a million times, but flipping the nail the other way to get both views helps me with making sure they are on their center. I'm sorry y'all I'm grabbing from over there because I have a, another um, stone box off to the side there where my Swarovski crystals are so yeah that's why I'm grabbing over there these here in this box is just my glass stones 
also stay tuned for my next video i think it will be the next one or if not for sure the next one after that um where i unboxed some Swarovski crystals for you guys and i tell you guys where i got them from most of them are from alien nail supply because that's where i get them but yes i will be doing a Swarovski crystal unboxing and showing you guys so stay tuned Alright, so I think that completes the um, stone part. Next, we're going to apply the top coat. Alright, y'all. So I will be applying acrylic creameries diamond top coat. It is my favorite of all time top coats. It is now actually the only top coat that I use. Shiny and matte. It is a small weakness that just launched. Um, if you guys... I think you guys might have heard me talk about them before. Um, they have bomb products, bomb acrylic, and I love the top coat. Um, as I already stated, obviously. <laughs> I just love it so much I had to say it twice, I guess. <laughs> but um, yes, and then, then she has like different nail art with like charms, and, and she has tools like um, scissors and all that, and drill bits, and she has tips as well, and just a whole bunch of cute stuff guys to go check them out and i will leave the description um the description i will leave the link in the description below and don't let me forget the prices like she has good prices um affordable prices and she also has sales most of the time so please go check her out you guys will not be at all disappointed her acrylic is also bomb i wanted to insert this reel i did here so you guys can see how it's like butter and the colors are popping she has fun bright colors um and her one ounce jars are three dollars right now like who do you know with one ounce jars that are three dollars oh wait <laughs> most one ounce jars literally are fifteen dollars literally so please take advantage of her sales right now y'all um yes please do and i actually just placed two more orders with her today um yes two orders so i will be doing an unboxing for you guys and i will be swatching her entire acrylic line for you guys so stay tuned for that video all right y'all so just applying this top coat remember to always go around the crystals try your best not to touch them because if you get top coat on them and it cures they won't be as shiny as they can be Also, as you can see, I like to wipe the sides so there isn't any, like, top coat, you know, along the sides. I like to keep the shape of the nail. So that's a little tip for you guys. Isn't this pink just the cutest, y'all? Like, I would recommend if you don't get anything else, 
Wells from Nail House. I mean, I don't know. Never mind that. But anyways, if you just get anything from Nail House, then you should get this glitter. It's like super cute. Y'all, I say everything is super cute, but it is really. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I just cured those in a lamp for 60 seconds and here is how they are looking. You guys know I have to include my final results at the end, but I promise that I will show you guys how I pack my orders, so that is what we're going to do now. Right now I'm actually trying to get a thumbnail, that's so funny. <laughs> okay guys, on to the next part. Alright also after being done, I get my boxes and I put on my little sticker pressed by Portia Noted. Alright y'all, so I go back and forth with my gloves because if I had them on still, they would just keep sticking to the tape. Um, so yeah and there's that and then so obviously the next step is me placing the tape down in the box the double sided um adhesive tape i just sized it to the box not all the way down but i just sized it to the box and cut it off like so and then i pull the little um layer off of there so that um it reveals the sticky part and then I put back on my gloves <laughs> um, because if you don't put on gloves while doing this your fingerprints will get on the top coat and it won't shine as much anymore and it look just dingy so yes I put back on my gloves and then I um, continue to take it off the the nails off the stand and then right here I'm just showing you guys how they both look since I only filmed on all five of the nails also, while well, obviously trying to get a thumbnail, <laughs> girl, come on. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. All right. So, removing the backing, the um, what is it called? Mounting putty tape, whatever, from the back of the nail with my tweezer. This sometimes can kind of be a pain because, as you can see, it will get stuck because um, maybe some of the monomer and maybe a bit, a little bit of the acrylic. You know how it kind of like drips a little bit to the underside like the monomer so it will, it will cause it to stick so what I will do is I will get my drill like so and I will just drill it off if it doesn't if it doesn't come off and then I'll just wipe it with alcohol to get rid of that dust like that and then I just place it in the box I try to get it right in the middle um, so it can be centered and then I just repeat the same thing with the remaining nail a pain and sometimes it just decides to act like gum whenever it wants to like I don't know what that's about sometimes it will literally like stretch out like gum it's kind of weird and annoying but yeah all right y'all so I just want to do the same thing to each of the nails got them in the box and then I just put the little, what is it called, like cotton covering over it and I close the box. After that, I grab my bubble mailer and I just put the press ons in there 
and then next I grab an application kit which includes a nail file, a buffer, a cuticle pusher, an alcohol pad, the nail tab adhesives, and a KDS glue. And then I also include one of my homemade unicorn cupcake cuticle oil pans for my girls who spend a certain amount of money. I include those in their orders. And a very shameless plug as well, yes I sell cuticle oil for those who don't know. Um, I actually just came out with my one ounce bottles. Um, I already had the pans, the three millimeters and the five millimeter pans. And now I have the one ounce bottles. Um, I know that say 15 millimeters, but those are not. That was a mistake I made. But I did not want to waste my stickers, so I still use them. But how cute are these? They are so cute. I named them Unicorn Cupcake because they have iridescent glitters inside of them, as you can see, and little sprinkles. And they literally smell. If you guys just like, like cake or vanilla, you guys will love them. And if any of you are interested in purchasing cuticle oil pans or the bottles with the droppers, just um, message me on Instagram, and my Instagram will be. Uh, linked in the description below all right so as you can see guys I have these thank you cards and I write my customers names on them it's like a personal little message to me I feel like it's more intimate so I include their names I truly do appreciate everyone who supports my business so that is the least I could do so that's about it guys I won't include me um, putting the addresses or anything like that so that is all I do and then I label the package and ship them off so that is all I have I hope you guys enjoyed you guys know I have to include my final videos of the nails so here they are Alright y'all, that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.